This quick video will give a tutorial on how to add a new cutter into the programming on the Martin T12 shaper. The T12 is Martin's small shaper. That said, even though it's their small version, the programming is the same as with the larger T27 model. I'm going to be adding the Zuani full bullnose cutter for this video. Even if you don't have this specific cutter, the lessons that I show in this video are transferable to other cutters that you may want to program into your CNC shaper. As always, if you have any questions or need assistance programming a cutter that you have, feel free to reach out in the comments and I'll do what I can to help. This two-piece cutter does as the name implies. It will cut a full radius bullnose on the edge of a piece in a variety of metric measurements. You can see from the instructions that there's a few different configurations for the cutter that give you different radii depending on how you stack the two together and the spacers between them. Because there are so many different configurations, I'm going to set up a program for all of them. So when I want a given configuration, it's ready to go. For this video, I'm going to show the 10 millimeter configuration and program. So based on the instructions, I have to configure these cutters a certain way. I put the wrong one in first, so I swap them out, put the other one in, and then add the spacers per the specifications. For the 10 millimeter bullnose, I need 27 millimeters of spacers, which are provided with the cutter in between the two on the stack. You can see it in the picture. Now what I'm not showing here is that before I started adding these to the stack at all, I measured the hub height on each of those top and bottom cutters. And it turns out that that height is 19 millimeters. Frankly, that dimension should have been part of the specification provided by Zuani and Rangate. So, in summary, for the 10 millimeter bullnose, we have the first cutter, which is 19 millimeters high, 27 millimeters of spacers, and then the top cutter, also 19 millimeters high. Those are the dimensions that we need to program the shaper. So, now I'm going to add a cutter for the 10 millimeter bullnose. I go into the second tab to add a cutter and I hit the plus button to add a new cutter profile. And it's a general cutter in this case. Go to the next screen and I give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it multi-radius 10 millimeter. And I'll make a new entry for each of the configurations that this cutter can do of the various radii. Next, I have this cutter sitting on a 50 millimeter collar. That's what I typically leave in the machine. So I tell it that that spacer is 50 millimeters and move on to the next screen. Now comes the meat and potatoes of the setup. Here we're going to define the radius at the three various points, the top, the middle, and the bottom of the cutter. The radius is the same at 130 millimeters, as you can see in the diagram. The top of the cutter we've determined is at 65 millimeters. That would be two times 19 millimeters for the two cutters themselves and 27 millimeters of spacers. So I set the top to 65. The middle is of course half of that, 32 and a half, and that'll be my target point for this cutter. And the bottom is at zero. What I'll do in the program is move the cutter up to halfway up the material thickness based on the bullnose I'm cutting. I ended up hitting save a little bit too quick. So I go back in, edit it, set the maximum RPM to 8,000, which is what I'm gonna use for this cutter. I don't worry about the individual RPMs on the right, just the maximum one. And I'm gonna give it a note, basically to remind myself that for this particular setup, I need 27 millimeters of spacers. I'll save this cutter definition, and now it's on to the program, which in this case is very simple. Okay, now that the cutter is programmed in, let's make a program to cut 10 millimeter stock. So I'm gonna make a new program by hitting the plus button under program, and I'm going to select that particular cutter, and I'm going to set the fence to zero, but I'm gonna set the infeed fence to a half millimeter back. Because the bullnose profile removes the entire edge, I'm gonna use an offset of the fences to achieve that. I'm going to set the cutter reference point to the center of the cutter, which is the center of my bullnose, so R2. And I'm gonna set the spindle up five millimeters. With the fence at zero, and the spindle at half of my material height, five millimeters, the program is extremely simple in this case. 
Thanks for watching. If this is valuable and you want to see more videos of setups of other shaper cutters, I'm happy to review them and post videos of those.